Welcome back to Raw Sports Talk. I'm Chris, your favorite stat reader, and we have the Utah Hockey Club. It's a long name until they finally name this team, and I really hope they go with the Yetis next year, hosting the Boston Bruins. And the Bruins are minus 135 on the money line. Utah is plus 114. The over-under is at six goals. The Bruins laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 185, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. And Utah getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 225, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, this is the first ever meeting between these teams as Utah and Boston. We're not going to go back and do what the Coyotes did because they're two totally different teams and it's a gigantic pain in the ass to go back and find it for every game every time this team plays someone new. The goaltenders for tomorrow's game are supposed to be Swayman in net for the Bruins and Ingram in net for Utah. Neither goaltender has been confirmed. That's just whom is supposed to be in net. Now for the Bruins, they've kind of been meh to start the year. They're three and two overall. They're three and one in their last four. Ten goals, three goals, seven goals, eight goals, six goals in a win, two goals in an overtime win, three goals in a loss, and then five goals in a win. And for Utah, they came out strong and I don't know if it's starting to settle in that they are what we thought they were. Uh, they're, I want to call it two and two, but they're two one and one in their last four games. And three out of their last four games have gone into overtime. Nine goals, 11 goals, three goals, nine goals, five goals in an overtime win, six goals in an overtime win, shut out in a loss, and then four goals in an overtime loss. And that was a game against the Ducks in which they had the lead, lost the lead, had the lead again, lost the lead, and then lost in overtime. The Bruins are a very good team. Do I think that Utah is going to score four-plus goals on them? No. Is it plausible? Anything can happen. But if you look, the Bruins are giving up 3.6 goals per game, so four is kind of like average. Uh, I will take the Bruins with the money line. I'm going to take Utah getting the goals. I'm going under. If that comes back to bite me in the ass, so be it. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.